Yeah. Hi, my name's Adam Smith. I'm calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm in, in the car. Is it fine? Uh, for That's the fine. Time? First of all, many congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know lots of people have been searching for you. How did you actually hear the news? Well, uh, it came up as a complete surprise because I got a call from the press office of Cambridge and I was in the middle of a scientific meeting with colleagues and, uh, and then I stopped breathing. <laughs> <laughs> and you're breathing now or only barely? <laughs> well, I'm still shaking a lot, I must say. I mean, uh, the good stuff is uh, since I was in a scientific meeting, I mean, we had already a scientific celebration with my colleagues, which I think was exactly what, I, what was appropriate and what I needed at that time. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so big. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's so emotional, like a kind of a wave, and it came up so much as a surprise to me. So um, it's just unbelievable. I'm still completely stunned by, by the news, and it's just an unbelievable and fantastic news for, for this field of research, which is now growing so fast, and, and um, about dealing with exoplanet and life in the universe. I'm, I'm so glad. I mean, I'm so, I'm so glad the Nobel Prize Committee uh, uh, for, for, for this. It's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's 24 years and two days since you announced the first exoplanet in Florence at that meeting. Um, does today's excitement rival the excitement you felt when you saw the, the, that first evidence? <laughs> well, I mean, absolutely. There's something amazing in the field. The excitement for the field has never decreased from the beginning. And the, uh, and the emotions to get the world to the, to, this, uh, to the Nobel Prize for that 25 years after, in a way, is just the acknowledgement of the excitement of what we have been doing. And, and, and benefit, definitely the emotion that I'm having right now is, is kind of <laughs> reward of all this work that we have been doing, I mean, we have to, re we have to remember that at the beginning, I mean, most of, li most of the people were very skeptical about all these discoveries. So, so it, it, is, it, is, uh, it is just this, uh, it's the climax of the story right now. And uh, I'm still trying to uh, understand exactly what's going on, <laughs> frankly. Yeah, well, it's a lovely validation of the whole field, yes, indeed. Um, and you found that planet as your PhD project. I mean, most people would be happy with just a nature paper, but now you have a Nobel Prize from your PhD as well. Yeah, in, in, indeed. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been talking a lot with, with Michel Mayor, my supervisor, in these days, and Michel always said something very nice to me. He said, well, I mean, the quality of the work and the creativity, I mean, it's not related to the age of the people. So I feel pretty easy with that. I mean, I don't really care. And anyway, in my mind, I still feel like a, a PhD student So when I'm doing research. So it's fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> There's enough excitement around already, but... We now know of more than 4,000 exoplanets, and I, yes. I think they're being discovered all the time. What are you most excited about currently in the field? Well, I mean, I agree. We know a lot of them, but, but we still have so much to learn. I mean, there's very little planet that looks like the Earth right now, and we're just barely trying to understand the planetary formation as a whole. And, and tomorrow, there will be people addressing the question of the possible... Uh, atmosphere content and evolution of the atmosphere, and, and one day, eventually, we'll be talking about life. And, and, and all this is as much exciting as, as, as detecting the first planet. And the detection of the first planet was the, um, the trigger of, of all, all this. And that's, I guess that, that's what the Nobel Prize is acknowledging right now. Indeed. It's such a joy to speak to you. Thank you. And I look forward to speaking more when you come to Stockholm in December. Yeah, sure. It's pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs>